Ooh, welcome back to the side of Havoc here, and we are back playing a little more Sav Tech Ages. And here we got some stuff done. First of all, I just want to show you this. I think this is really cool. I've been using this kind of as like a, a junk cart for right now. A lot of like unfamiliar items that I can't use and you know, places I just don't have room for stuff right now or whatever. And I've got this going on over here. But I like how it starts to fill the cart. Like remember, if you remember correctly, the cart was empty. And now it's actually kind of putting items back down. I think that's a really cool little visual adjustment. That's some really cool thinking on the uh, the mod makers part. I like that. That that shows some dedication. I don't know. That's just me. I think it's really really cool. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into today. Now let me tell you how I did actually start recording this episode not too long ago, <clears throat> and uh, ran into a couple errors <laughs> right after I died, and so I did die for the first time. Um, that has happened now, and. Uh, I kind of forgot to stop or start recording. Like I stopped uh, during the reload screen and then I forgot to continue recording. <sighs> so we got some stuff done uh, off camera and it wasn't recorded. So let me kind of get you caught up. So when we left off, uh, we were looking at making the gear, uh, but we couldn't make the gear because we didn't have the buffalo teeth yet. So since then I have, you know, uh, grown a couple of buffalo up and watch this lights on. Bink. So when I built, I built a tunnel through because I want to start making this like my farming area and like kind of my, my crafting, I don't know, not crafting, but like, I don't know, automation area, I guess you might call it. And, uh, and I thought it'd be quicker to just do a tunnel straight through. So I kind of took the time to dig that out. And then in the process, what I did was use totems, uh, to do things like speed and, uh, night vision. Uh, what else do I have in here? I've got speed, night vision, I think jump boost and, um, I also think Ocelot, which protects from creepers blowing this place up. So that's what we've got going on right here. And I knew it was going to be an issue because I didn't put any torches up. So creepers are always going to be a possibility because the light levels are still, well, light levels. So um, apparently F7 doesn't work. I don't know. Interesting. Um, anyway, so i got animals growing up in here. Um, as you can see, I started growing a bunch of cows. Then I can I found out that you can actually breed the buffalo separately. So as you can see, I got a little baby buffalo there. I've been breeding um, off these two right here and then basically moving them in here. And I've switched out my horses for buffalo because they seem to move a little quicker. And I, it, I don't know if it actually is or not uh, and a mechanic of it, but it does seem to like grind up stuff faster. So <clears throat> yeah, that's what these guys are doing right here. My, I put my buffaloes to work. So... That's where we're kind of at with that. Now, after getting the uh, gear done, that led me to the next uh, item on the thing, which was the better with mods, um, the millstone. And so I was able to make the millstone. And let me tell you, there's one thing I really appreciate about the millstone was we had our hand grinder here, <clears throat> but it's been pretty much become useless because now I've got the, the horse grinder. And it's actually part of the recipe for the millstone. So moving on, it's actually using old items. I really respect that. I think that's a really uh, good mechanic um, in the way of like, you know, building the quests and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool. So yeah, so now we've got the, the mill. Unfortunately, I still don't have any um, like power for it. So the only way to run this thing right at the moment is with the hand crank. And we all know how much I hate the hand crank if you've been watching Lost Souls because it just drains a whole bunch of energy. So I want to kind of start getting some power as soon as possible. But I'm kind of at a dead end here. Nothing else is unlocked. Now, the shadow, shadow gems, that's actually how I died. I was over in the dark forest over there trying to figure out how to get some shadow gems because I never saw any of the shadow creatures. Uh, apparently, they only come out at night, which is cool. Um, so I got caught over there at night and as you can see, not so much on the armor. Um, and so I got my, my, my rear end handed to me, but in that adventure of going back to get my stuff. And by the way, that's what this death compass is. I'm gonna throw it away now. Uh, it just shows you exactly where your tombstone is. So you can go right back over to it and then get all your stuff back. And it puts it right back in your inventory the same way it was when you died. I think that's really neat. Um, so yeah, so here we are. Now we're all caught up. Now I've explained to you everything that happened in what should have been recorded. And now we're going to move on to something that I've been really, really um, excited about. I've been needing wheat, obviously, to, um, uh, what do you call it? Breed the animals and stuff like that, right? So I made myself a wind chime here. I don't remember if I did this last episode or if I did this earlier. I can't remember. I think it was in the last episode. Um, but I've set up this over here what did I, I needed that wind chime for something what was i doing 
Oh, it was the Buffalo one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I've got the wind chime, and then I've got all my other instruments. But the really cool thing is the same um, ceremony. Ah, don't jump up on stuff. Uh, the same ceremony that I did for that tree sapling is the same ceremony I can do for like the bone mealing item. This works so fast. It's awesome. Check this out. We're going to do it once just really quick. Um, so it's, and I've got this rhythm down now. Shift, right click, shift, right click. The waltz starts. Then I put my little whistle over here and, and now it sounds like a cool little Indian chant dance. Oh, oh. And the chimes get in on it too. And they add a little, a little musical uh, talent to it. And then we get through it super quick now. And then once it's done, it actually starts bone mealing this area up, which is absolutely awesome. Cause then I can just get a ton of wheat and then I never take the flute out of my hand while I do this. So I get lots of music while I'm doing this. Uh, now, I mean, it's not insanely fast, but that's pretty fast. Like, you know, it's not like it's just growing instantly or anything, but it's still growing pretty darn quickly. And this is just a great way to get some wheat really fast. And I think I'm just gonna leave this ceremony down here and kinda um, start my farm down here, which I'll show you how I'm gonna do in just a minute. Ah, uh, see, this is the thing that kills me. I keep jumping up, I gotta move this out of the way. I gotta move it like over here or something. I keep jumping on my farmland and killing it because this, uh, the smart movement or whatever keeps making me move up this and then falling down on my, my crops. So I've burnt up quite a bit of farmland but farmland is no longer an issue and i'll tell you why in just a minute okay so it's done so we got a decent amount i think we had two to begin with so now we've got 17. that's a decent amount of wheat pretty quickly i mean just for playing a little bit of music and having fun um okay sorry it looked like there was like a four by four and i didn't know why um so i'm gonna go ahead and throw my wheat away in here because you can see i've actually got quite a bit of wheat now um yeah and let's go ahead and put my seeds away like so oh you're already full you're full up on seeds, are you? Well, alrighty then, we don't need these 12 seeds. Go away. All right, cool. So, moving on to the next thing I wanna show you before we get going on today's projects. Um, as I was out hunting for a village, because as you can see, that's pretty much all I have left, right? Uh, some in the boss, uh, because I did get the buffalo hides in the teeth by killing the buffalo. So now we gotta summon a boss from uh, Totemic. I've still got to get the dark gems, which is going to take a minute, and I'll explain why in just a second, but I still got to go find the village, right? And so I was off finding the village, and as you can see, I got some bone meal here. Mm. That right there is a complete stack, I believe. Let me get it highlighted. Dude, can you get out of the way, please? Get, 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 move! Thank mm. you. That is a complete stack, and he should start going again. Oh, did his lead fall off? Nope, there he goes. There he goes. And I found a whole bunch of bone blocks, which I was not really familiar with. Apparently they're a Minecraft block now. I knew nothing of them. Um, but yeah, so I've got a ton of bone meal and it's one bone meal per dirt to make farmland. So I think I'm gonna go down and start a pretty big farm uh, down by the water since we still can't do like infinite water sources. And you can see I've got a whole nother stack of bone meal right there. And now that I go down my checklist, oh, let's go sleep off the night. Um, as I get down my checklist, I do want to chickens. Okay. So death got it. Oh, village. I don't, did I say it? I found a village. I did finally find a village. So we're going to go head off and do these quests in just a minute. But, um, see, sorry, I'm looking at my checklist of stuff that I did. Uh, I'm trying to remember everything I did on camera and oh, what's up over there? There is a burning there's a burning karate zombie off in the distance. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so I've got caught up on everything. Buffaloes, got it. Chickens next. So I did find myself a chicken. And as you can see, the chickens, you know, drop their feathers and drop their eggs. And what I want to do is kind of automate a little chicken farm here. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need a uh, two chest, one for a hopper. And I think I should have some wood left in here. Um, I don't know how much I have 29. Yeah, that's more than enough, except that's, I need planks, not, all right, let me grab some stone. There's 16 of them. And then we'll run over here. Cause I know I've got plenty of wood over here in the, uh, the chopper and we, dude, come on. There we go. Give me that. Thank you. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of automate a feather and egg gathering uh, area. Cause I don't know how much I'm gonna need them in the future, but I mean, it's 
why not get as many as we can, at least to start off with, uh, not knowing how many I'm going to need. It's good just to kind of automate the process a little bit. And one chicken can actually be pretty productive for me. So if I can start getting a collection of them, because the reason I'm concentrating on feathers is I need them for the trade uh, to get, I believe it's the map. Um, and so getting some more feathers built up because I don't have a lot. I think I already have enough um, to get the trade, but might as well, you know, make sure we have enough. Okay, cool. So I'm going to kind of automate this right over here. I don't know if automate's the right word, but right here is going to be my chest. This is going to be the hopper. This is where the chicken's going to be. And this is going to be my drop hole. Okay. So chest, it goes right here. Hopper. Can I put you in safely? Oh my goodness. Okay, two flutes in a row. Next to that is a flute imputation. All right, that's interesting to know. Take that out of my hand. Can I not put it? Okay, hold on. Let's just dig this part out real quick so I can stand back here and put the hopper in. All right, you go there. That should be going in, right? Into the chest? All right, cool. Good. Give me a little back. All right, and then... The chicken's gonna go right there, so now I need to put the dirt back up, like so. I don't know, can I, is this chest not openable? Oh no, it is. Although that's kind of a bad place for it. Um, maybe I should do two hoppers and set it back one? What do you guys think? Yeah, cause this is, yeah, let's, let's do a back one over here, like that. Then we'll put a hopper here as well. And then that's what, that, that's how we'll do it. That way I don't cover up the chest because I won't be able to see in it and that'll be really, really annoying. So thinking on my feet here, just kind of thinking on my feet. Um, and perfect, I have enough wood to do this. Okay, there, there, and there. Hey. There we go. <clears throat> and you go in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully this works. I'm, I'm pretty sure hoppers chain. They should chain, right? All right, cool. Hey, I still have yet to fix my spiders and all that, my my settings. Um, so, uh, right back here. There we go. Okay, cool. And then the dirt will go right here and right here. And we'll put a little step up here just so I can kind of... There's a tree, right? <laughs> I didn't even realize that this is actually a tree right on top. Okay, get out of the way. There we go. Nice clear path right there. Um, that stuff doesn't seem to be going in the hopper. Dirt? Or does it just go really, really slowly? There's a whole bunch of stuff sitting on top of that hopper right now that should have gone in, right? Hold on. What's going on here? Okay. If I put you in here, you're not going anywhere. Are you not directed into this hopper? Yeah, you are. Okay, so hoppers don't connect like that. See, that's this is what we're testing out here. All right, so, oh, you know what I can do? I can do a slab, though. I can put a slab above it. That'll work. Okay. So, extra hopper for right now. Not a big deal. Um, so, you're going to go into the back of that, right? And... Do it there and there, do it there, and then I can put a slab. Oh no, not there. Um, like that. Yeah, and then I can put a slab right here, and the chickens won't be able to get out. That'll work. Um, I've got slabs around here somewhere. I think. <laughs> Never know. I know I've got stuff all over the. Oh, you know what? There's probably some in here. Yes, I do have one slab right there. It's not a wood slab, but it'll work for right now. It'll serve its purpose at the moment. So let's close you. Put you here, which should keep the chickens in, right? Then you should drop right into there. Hey, put that back down. All right, so let's pick up this chicken here. Come on, come on. Do I have to be in the hole? Oh, there we go. Okay. And we're going to drop you right 
here. And then every time he drops a feathered egg, it should just go right to this chest and automatic collection. Awesome. And then there's an egg right there, which actually kind of leads me to why I want to leave this pit right here um, because I can set up that vault and it turns eggs into chickens. Yes. And let's, let's go. Well, we can make another wind chime. I've got bones for that. Let's go grab another bone real quick. I think they're in here. One bone. Cool. We'll make another wind chime and I guess I can just relocate the drum for a second. Um, what was the recipe for the chime? Uh, two sugar cane, two string and three sticks. I've got three sticks. I've got sugar cane and I've got the flint, got the bone. What else am I missing? Oh, the string and the string. All right, cool. So, oh my, this bouncing up stuff. Um, you go there, you go there. You two like that. You two like that. And three sticks. One, two, three. And where's my rock? There it is. All right, cool. So we can make a couple of these. I know they're going to all work like a little bit better every single time. Um, did I just fall in my hole? I did. All right. And so we'll just hang the wind chime from the tree here. I think it's very, very foresty. That would should like be better, I would think. All right, let's go grab our drum. I'll eventually make another drum, but I just want to see if this egg thing actually works. You know, it, it tells you it's going to, but I always, I doubt things. I guess that's the best way to say it. I just doubt things. Um, but we've got everything else on me, so we can test this out really quick. Oh, jeez. These trees! They're just like going crazy even around the house. Um... There's something else I wanted to grab out of here. What was it? Oh, eggs. Yes, I had more eggs. More eggs. So we've got four eggs. Let's see if we can get four chickens. Let's see if this actually works. So you. We throw them in there like that, right? And then we'll put our drum down right here. And our rattles right there. Flutes right there. So it's rattle, drum. Cool. And then flute up here, and let's get to rocking and rolling. I really love this whole ritual thing. I think this is such a fun little... It, it's different. I mean, that's, there's no other way to put it. It's different. And I think it's really cool. And hopefully this will actually turn these eggs into chickens, and then I'll be able to start kind of... Oh, wow, it turned some of the other saplings into... Like, the cedar ones. That's funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, it worked. Two of them did. Hey, get back over here. You've got a new home, dude. Oh my God, that flute's gotta go. You're going in your new home here with your other chicken buddy. Oh, there they go. They're just growing up. I think this is really cool. Oh, and there's the other one. And they seem to grow right into full grown. So they're not even growing into babies. That's really cool. And so now I've just got a whole bunch of chicken and eggs to be, uh, or chicken and eggs. <laughs> What came first? A uh, whole bunch of eggs and feathers to be growing up. So that's really cool. And so you guys should just be popping out into here eventually. I guess I got to give you time. So we'll come back and check on you later. You do your thing, okay? That'll be good. Wind chimes doing this thing. Cool. All right, cool. So I'm going to go put these away and we're going to clean out our inventory and get ready for today's events. I guess that was part of today's events, but um, rocks go there. Dirt goes there. Okay, apparently I've got... Is that a full stack? No, it's not. There you go. And, oh, you know what? I can just do this. Boop. All, everything that can go goes. And let's empty out the inventory. Sleep off the day and get going. So don't need you right now. Uh, flint goes back in there. That goes back in there. String goes back in there. Rock goes back. Um, I guess I can just put you guys away. There you go. Would have thought you would have gone this inventory too. All right. Let us put our rock away. Our string, I believe, went there. That went there. And this goes over here. Okay, cool. I'm trying to stay organized, guys. I'm trying to. I know I've talked about it so many times before, and it always turns into chaos, but I am trying to, to be organized. So there we go. We've got our first chicken or feather and first egg, which is awesome. So that's that's working. I like to see that. 
Now, <clears throat> um, for the village, I need, um, I believe it was seven and seven or seven and eight, something like that. Oops. Uh, seven, eight, or yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, I've already got the feathers. I didn't realize I grabbed enough. Uh, ink sacks and then bone meal. These are the three items I need to trade. And we are going to head over to this village. Hopefully I can remember exactly where it is because without a map, it's just over in that area. Um, so yeah, so we'll head over to this village. It didn't seem to be too far away. I actually found two villages. Um, I found the second one by accident. I wasn't even looking. Uh, but the first one, I was, like I said, I found it while I was venturing around dealing with all this. This whole area actually wraps around. And that's what I got to remember. Um, this dark forest wraps all around here. And then it gets over to this regular biome. And over in this regular biome is where I found the village. Uh, pretty close to the edge of it. So if I remember correctly, it was these tall trees right here was my, my landmark. That's where we got to get to. So, um, I'm dude, I'm so loving this pack right now. It really does prevent you from going crazy fast and like getting lost. Like, Cause you know, by now I would have done things like, Oh, I need a pulverizer and Oh, I need this and Oh, I need that. And it's really preventing that speed progression, which I truly, truly appreciate. So I think it wasn't that true. Maybe it was these trees right here. Um, I don't remember. It's going to be around here somewhere. That I can promise you. It's going to be right. You stupid freaking piranhas. I've learned to use the axe thanks to uh, your comments about using the axe over the, the, the sword. It is more powerful. It does kill quite a bit faster. I like that. And so I do use the axe pretty often. Although, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, there's a lot of wolfies. Go away, wolfies. Okay, um, I don't recall that cave. Another woofy? Oh, yeah, don't run right into the woofy. That's that's not a smart way to do it. But I'm pretty sure it's right over here. Um, I'm trying to look for, like, landmarks that I remember seeing. Whoa, dead end and woofy. That's not good. Okay, um, where are you at? I know you're around here somewhere. Oh, I think I saw something. Nope, apparently not. Oh. Um, it's around here somewhere. I know there's a village here. I know there's a village here. I founded it. I promise I founded it. Um, of course, I'm not finding it now. Where is that village? I didn't run too far, did I? Oh, hold on. Was that it? Yeah, there it is. You can see all the wood side by side there for the farm. Okay, cool. So here is our village. It's being overgrown by trees. You guys got to get your farms working again, man. All right. So who are you? The Fletcher. You are not the one I need. Now I got to go play find the villagers because they're around here. Oh, uh, that is one of them, right? That's like the librarian or whatever. Uh, or that might be the one of them. Librarian. Yeah. So you and you and we get our map. Awesome. And now I need to go find the other guy and trade him some bone meal wherever he's at. I should have locked him in a house. Like, that would have just made more sense. You know what? Let's check this map out first while I've got it. Okay. So, I think you just right-click. Okay, cool. Um, that's interesting. Okay. So, not a lot of landmarks, per se, but it kind of shows you the trees and stuff like that. Okay, you can move the map around, which is good. Um, I wonder if you can... Oh, okay. You can zoom in and out. Okay. Um, add a marker, delete marker, hide markers, export image. Okay. Dude, I already traded with you. I don't need another trade from you. I need your buddy, the farmer. Where's your buddy, the farmer at? Um, the village ends right here. Okay. This was not a big village. The other village might have been the one that actually had the farmer. This village may not have had the farmer in it. Since he is literally, I'm only seeing the two of them. You poor guys don't have any doors on your houses and stuff. That's so sad. No doors, <laughs> no chests, no like storage of any kind. You would think the farmer would be over by the, the farms, even though there's nothing to farm. Okay, y'all need to leave me alone. Yeah, get away. Get out of here. Oh, you gave me a bone. Cool, thanks. And hide. All right, where are you at? It's daytime. The farmer should be mending his farms. Why Why is there farms planted over here, dude, but not in your farm? What? That doesn't make a lot of sense, man. 
Okay, let's keep looking. I keep seeing you. Yeah, I don't need you. I got the map already. Oh, Fletcher? Oh, who are you? Who are you? Are you the farmer? Armor? Who are you? Get over here. Fletcher? Are there more in the buildings over here? Yeah, no iron bars, no furnaces, no lava. Cartographer. Librarian. Was there a better deal? Could you give me... Oh, no, you're actually more expensive. All right, where is the librarian? Or not sorry, librarian. Where's the farmer at? There's got to be a farmer in this village, right? I don't want to go have to find that other farm. I didn't... Or the village. I didn't pay close attention to where it was at. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, this village is a little bit... Oh, please be farmer. Another Fletcher. Okay, I think I've done a complete lap around this place and have not seen him anywhere. I hate that I can hear all of you, but I don't know where you guys are at. Um, it looks like we might have to go... Oh, we might have to go find the other village. It's not far away. It's just I don't remember exactly where it was. Now, it was visible from the water, so it's going to be much easier to find in that sense. I just don't remember exactly where it was. It was the first time I had headed south instead of heading north, and that's how I found it. All right, let's go. I guess it's off to go find that other village. It's it, I don't think it's too far from here. I think it was relatively close, so I like that I have a map now. That's so nice. I can start leaving waypoints. Like, you know, I should probably leave a waypoint on the village, but <clears throat> I don't see a big need of going back to that village at least anytime soon. So am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? Um, I feel like my map says I'm heading north. I don't want to head north. I want to head uh, west back to the water. This is the way I want to go. Wait, hold on. No, I headed south to get here. So I headed this way to get here. I got off on the right and went this way. So I'm going the totally wrong way. Okay, there we go. Let's go this way. I have a reference to north, south, east, and west now, which is nice. Um, yeah, this is... Oh God, I love this. The fact that I have a map now, like, it's kind of cool. It's like an old school map. It's not, you know, highly detailed or anything like that. Or I'm not a lot, you know, I'm not able to put like a whole bunch of waypoints and stuff. Well, maybe I can put a whole way, waypoints to that. I don't know. Um, but this is pretty, pretty swanky. Um, wolf meat I don't need, but I do need my boat. Where's my boat? Oh, did I leave my boat down there? Oh, man, I am almost dead. Go, 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 go. Did I leave my boat down here? I thought I picked up my boat. Did I just not see it right now? Get away from me. Are you following me? Yeah, you are, but you're slow. Okay. Did I just not see my boat when I was looking right now? Um, oh, it's right there. Okay. Let's get on our boat. Get out of here. Okay, so this is where we came in, right? Yes. Okay, so... The next village should be somewhere over here, and it's in a dark, uh, dark lands. Is that what it's called? Dark biome. Uh, for uh, oh, what is the name of that mod? Starts with an A. Whatever. That other mod. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> Abyssalcraft. But the village was very, very obvious because it was like right on the edge. Yes, I remember the the extreme hills over there. Okay, so it's somewhere over here. Like I, uh, I think it's over that way. I saw it by accident. I did not actually find it intentionally. I was off in the distance and I just randomly saw a house and was like, oh, hey, that could be helpful. Um, let me just get my food organized here because a dying is not a smart thing to do. Although I'm really good at it, it's not a smart thing to do. Okay. So I don't see a straight way through there. I did find, oh, so the bones, uh, I was going to tell you about the bones, the bone blocks I found. Um, as I was searching around, actually, when I found this biome over here, um, there was like, it was really cool the way it was set up. It was a whole bunch of bone blocks set up to look like, like an old dinosaur uh, skeleton or whatever. And then I mined that bad boy up. So um, is that one of those abyssal craft black box things right there? Yeah, no, that's not the right way. <laughs> Whatever way that is, it's not the right way. I'm not messing with those slime-producing freaking megathons. Um, I don't know what they're called. 
but I just remember they're really mean and I can barely fight a wolf off. I'm not going to try to fight that guy off. So I'm not going to burn up a lot of time on camera looking for the silent or our, um, village. I know it's around here somewhere. We will find it. And Oh, you know what? That's it right there. I know that's it. At least I think it's it because it's right on the water and the village should be right on the edge uh, facing that way over there. What the? Am I being chased by some? I'm being chased by piranhas. Get away. Get away from me. Stupid piranhas. All right. Hopefully this is it. I... It's so confusing where stuff's at. Without having a map and stuff. Well, I have the map now, but didn't have it when I found it the first time. Um, and I need to get up and sleep real quick. Oh, there's another one. Okay. So I want to go show one of these houses real quick. I think the village is close by, but I want to get out of this and not get hit by this piranha real quick. Um, so we're going to sleep this night off. Like so. And I want to show you a couple things because I found one of these the other day. And um, I just thought it was kind of cool. It's like a little, like someone living all by themselves kind of thing. Like, how high can you guys jump up here? Really? Okay, where's my boat? Get out of here. Thank you. Um, where was it at? I saw it a second ago. There it is. So it's like a lonely villager. Like, kind of living out here. I saw one villager one time. I haven't seen any... Um, I've seen a couple of these now, but... Just... Oh, I think I raided this one. I think this is the one... Yeah, this is the one I actually raided. Um, <clears throat> there was just, like, stuff in it. And then there was this little dude kind of creeping around. I don't know if this is the one that he was creeping around on, but... Oh, hey, here's the skeleton I was talking about. So, yeah, it was like the remains of a dinosaur. Look, it's kind of cool the way they did this. Like, rib bones and, like, the the um, uh, the lumbar spine and stuff like that, like, sticking out and... Um, or, sorry, the layman's uh, in science term. Uh, the little thing sticking out or whatever. And then it came all the way down here... And then the head was like over here. I just thought that was really, really cool. I, I don't know if that's just me, but I, I thought that was really cool. And uh, the coolest part of it was I finally got some bone to get some bone meal. So then I could start on my farms and stuff. So, uh, oh, there it is. There's the village right there. Perfect. No, it wasn't too far away. I remember seeing it. I've done a lot of entering. In case you guys haven't told, like, as you can see how far we've traveled just from the, the base alone. I've done some traveling trying to find these villages. Didn't think it was going to take nearly as long as it did, but, you know, so be it. It happens. Not everything can happen instantaneously, so. But now we can go get the other one, and we may have to wait for nighttime and actually take on some of these shadow demons. I don't want to have to, but it's looking like that's what we're going to have to do is take on some of the shadow demons, so. Um, well, obviously I'm going to have to because I need to get the shadow gems. Where, oh, where is the farmer? Here, farmer, farmer. You wanted bone meal. Be the farmer. Yeah. Nope, you're a shepherd. Fleece for string. Actually, that's a better... Oh, three for five. That's a horrible deal. Screw yeah. you. Fletcher. Um, hey, what are you? You're like the butcher, aren't you? Oh, you're a leather worker. Um, there's so many villages in this village. Hey, keep, where are you going, dude? Shepherd. Oh, why do I hear zombie? Don't kill my villagers. Not till I find the damn farmer. Ha! Ah, got you. Bingo. We'll just grab a whole bunch until you burn up. There we go. Okay, where's this zombie at? I'm not letting him kill you guys. Where's he at? Come on, guys. Tell me where he's at. Did the farmer open up any other cool trades by any chance? I didn't look. Uh, flowers. I can bypass on those. Apple seeds, cotton seeds, grape seeds, tomato seeds. Interesting. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here before this zombie converts my whole village here. I heard a door. Did anybody hear that door? How did you guys get a door? How did you guys get it? Did I unlock something by doing that? No. No, I got all excited. Like, I unlocked something by doing that, but I didn't. Where'd that door come from? Y'all get in the house. Be safe. Okay, I gotta go. It was good seeing you. We've got the mission accomplished. But uh, I got to I, I got to be out of here. Um, which way was out of here, by the way? 
Um, I don't recall this dock here. This is not the way I came in, but... Oh, I came in over here. Okay. I just want to reorient myself before I leave. But I do want to put you on the map in case I have to come back here. Um, oh, I'm way over here. Okay. So I want to add a marker right here. And we'll put a house. A village. All right, done. Marker on the map. Awesome. All right, cool. Let's get out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and head back home. And when we get there, we will continue on. So I'll be right back. So I was going to wait till I actually got home. But then I was just like, it looks kind of cool to kind of see your home in the distance. And that, that feeling of, oh, I'm almost home and safe. Especially when you've got piranhas chasing after you. I didn't even, I didn't even notice them until just a second ago. But, oh, that 1.12 lag. All right. You guys leave me alone. But yeah, there's something just kind of, you know, warm and fuzzy about, you know, coming home and seeing, or, you know, seeing your home off the distance and we're almost there after a nice adventure. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but that's how I feel. All right. You guys leave me alone. Okay. I need like a, like a, a what are those things called? The, um, oh, those things over there. What is that called? <laughs> I forget what they're called right now. Um, oh my goodness, what are you guys called? Why can't I think of the name of that thing? Uh, totems, there you go. Um, there was a totemic ceremony for like killing things. That would be awesome. Just plop it down real quick and just kill the piranhas. All right, cool. So we're home. So with a, let me see what this, where's the, the, the sun at? The sun's about to set again, right? That's actually good for us because as soon as that sun sets, I want to get over there and, uh, try to get some more, um, you I guess this one doesn't work technically as an inventory maybe I don't know um, but we'll put all this away for right now I don't need any of that you can go back up there and we'll just put some dirt in here oh, oh that's farmland okay let's set that aside I want to see if I can make any armor yet because I don't want to go in there bare again and I can make leather uh, tan leather cap or leather cap Tan leather cap is made with wet tanned leather. Wet tanned leather is the second stage. Oh, without actually drying it. Interesting. Um, so I can have the other. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, cool. So let's let's try to get some armor together here. Um, I already have some wolf boots on, but let's let's make up some more. Um, let's see. 24, so I need 20 pieces. That's 12. Let's start with the two most important. Well, let's start with the first most important one, which is the, the, the body. Let's get that one done. And then actually, you know what? No, let's, let's do the legs because that'll give me two more pieces of armor. There we go. And like that, at least we get some armor on us. So I don't die nearly as quickly. I mean, it ain't great by any means, but it's a start. And let's head over and see if we can find some of these stupid freaking... You know what? I'm just, I'll make another one. Go away. I always forget to put that guy back. Um, some of these shadow guys. Um, from the math I did, if I find a whole bunch of small ones, I think I've found six so far. Um, it takes nine to make a, like a medium-sized gem, and it takes nine gems to make a full-sized gem that we need for the uh, achievement. If that's the case, that means we need 81 little gems. That could be a lot of gems. So we'll see, or fragments, not gems, but fragments. So we'll see how long it takes um, to get some of the guys to start coming out. Hey, Mr. Chicken. I think I got your buddy from over here, too. I'll take some eggs and feathers for free sure okay okay there's one right there come on buddy oh there's a creeper too creeper stay away I just want there's two creepers well I think I got fragments I think that was fragments I just saw yeah I got four fragments for that thank you thank you mr. creeper I appreciate the help that was kind of annoying but hell He's dead, and now I've got some fragments. So, yeah, so I need 81 of the... Oh, wait, that's a shadow fragment. I don't know if that's the medium-sized one or... 
let's get back out on there. I need to double check this because I need <clears throat> nine of the medium size ones. I don't know which size that was. Um, can't sleep this off. Darn it. Okay. So it's this gem I'm trying to make. Um, gem. Okay. So shadow gem takes shadow gem shards and this takes uh, shadow fragments and this is a shadow fragment yeah so i need nine i need 81 of those shadow fragments hopefully i can find something that drops something bigger there's another guy right here oh and there's another one right there come on guys come on you see me oh hey get away i think like the bigger ones might drop bigger gems like this is a little guy right here i think that's how it works i don't remember exactly um, but there's another one right here. This is another little guy. So I might have to stay out here for a while or for a couple nights, actually. Because right now I'm only to 11. Um, unless I can find a bigger guy that drops the bigger ones, that'll save time. I mean, I'm at 11 now. So it doesn't seem like it may, it may not take that long if I get a decent amount, like four or five every time they die. But then I've got to find them. And then run from them and not get caught in trees while I'm doing this. And it's so eerie in here. It's, I mean, it's already nighttime, so it's already dark. And then this is like the dark lands, so it's like even darker. Oh, oh, you guys stay over there. I'm not messing with you. I didn't see any smoke clouds over by you guys, so. Um, yeah, we're going to stay away from you. You just don't look very nice. And, oh, there's another one. I wonder if those are like the abyssal zombies, like the anti-zombies or whatever they're called. I've seen an anti-player so far. I did run into one of those. That's actually what I was running from when one of the other shadow guys got me and killed me. Ah, I Oh, it's a wolf. Y'all just need to leave me alone, man. I don't like killing wolves, just for the record, I don't. But you guys are just automatically aggressive, and I don't like that. The dire wolves, I've noticed that they choose to be aggressive at times, and other times they're not aggressive. Haven't quite figured them out yet. Um, where are all these shadow creatures at? I don't want zombies, I want shadow. Ah, here we go, here we go. You're just a little itty bitty one. Let me try my axe and see if that's actually faster. All right, so we're at 14. I've got to get to 81. So I'm going to see if we can find a bigger one. If I can't find a bigger one, I'll just uh, take the time to get this done and then come back. But I do want to try to find a bigger one and see if we get bigger gems or shards or whatever you want to call them. Come on. There we go. Here we go. Smoke. No, it's another baby one. Well, you die faster with the axe. That's cool. Um... I wonder if I brought over and set up a couple totems during the day with luck all over the place, if I would get more. I mean, that would be a lot of work just for a hunch, but it could work. That could be something. I might do that in the break, but yeah, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pause here and I'm just going to grind out until I get all 81 of these little fragments because uh, it seems like it's going to take a while. And then we will be back once I get those also. We'll be back in a little bit. Well, guys, I just met my first shadow beast. That guy sucked. Um, he basically blew blindness all over me. And uh, yeah, death number two. I was doing really good, too. I was like, I found a couple. So the shadow creatures are the ones that give you the little fragments. And then I found some shadow monsters who give me uh, the shadow gems, the small ones. And so I had like five of those. So I was like, all right, cool. That like limits how much we had to do. Like I only needed like... 36 of the little ones, which I was almost there. And then all of a sudden, this big dude come out of nowhere, and he taught me a lesson. Stay away. That's that's the lesson he taught me. There was nothing I could do. I was like, I saw him. I was like, oh, cool. Maybe that one just gives me the big gems, and that would be awesome. And then I was dead. And now I have no idea where I was, because I was completely blinded. And I'm hoping that he's probably not still around my dead corpse. Um, I don't know where I'm going. <clears throat> um, somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. 
I have like no idea where I'm at. I'm I was trapped in a corner somewhere. So oh, there I am. Let's get all that stuff. There we go. Yeah, that guy just sucked. There, there's no other way to put it. He just sucked. Um, but we're getting close. Now with those five big ones, I only need four more. And that means I need 36 of the little ones. So I'm going to continue hunting. Um, this is like night number two. And the night's got to be coming to an end pretty soon. Um, I've been running around for a while trying to you know, get stuff. But I I'm very saddened by the fact that I died again. Because I tried to get away. As soon as that dude started blowing whatever smoke stuff he did at me, I was, I was out. I was out the door. But... Uh, Apparently, I couldn't get away fast enough. So, anyways, I'm going to keep going back to it. I just wanted to show you that I died. I mean, it's not something I really want to brag about, but, you know, let's be legit with it. So, we'll be back. One of those skeletons finally dropped a trumpet. I've been wanting this trumpet for so long. I don't know what it does. I don't know if I can hit with it. Or if I can just make horn noises. I don't know. But... I finally got a trumpet. I don't know how useful that is, but all right, back to grinding. And shortly after I showed you the trumpet, we've got everything we needed. I just got another shadow monster that just gave me nine or like a whole bunch more. Let's get the salt over here. Uh, a whole bunch more of the um, shadow gem shards. And we only need nine of those, which means I just need, yeah, we've done, we, we, we did it. Um, my inventory is like totally maxed out with stuff, but here we go. We are, <clears throat> oh my gosh, so close to completing what seems to be age one. That's, yeah, age one is almost done. And we've still got quite a bit of time in today's episode, so hopefully we'll, well, I shouldn't even say hopefully. I know we'll get it done. I know it. We're about to go do it right now. All right, so we got to go back over to the presser, and I've got to put these guys in the presser like so and then you already filled in hopefully yeah you're already in there okay cool and then put you guys up there let me put you over here get to work man do your thing oh this has been extra storage <laughs> i totally forgot to put stuff in there just nonsense storage cobblestone i found some hemp some of those things um but yeah we'll let him do his thing and we will go clean out our inventory while he's working. And then by the time he's done, we should have our shadow gem, which will then complete not only this mission here, but we're going to use it to make the flame grill goodness. And that'll be awesome. So um, seeds I'm going to put away. I pulled out all my seeds because I was actually uh, starting to farm. I guess I can kind of show you that. It's pretty easy to see. I started the farm over there. Uh, now we're going to have like, you know, no issues with wheat and stuff like that anymore, which will be awesome. Um, let's see anything. There we go. There's a lot of it. And I got some pieces of armor. Still no body armor though. I just, I was kind of hanging them up here just to, in case we ever break some, we can always grab some backups there. Um, bones are in this thing over here. Ah, I keep doing that. Keep wanting to right click and said it's shift right click. Uh, bones in there. We'll put the meat in here. Um, these leggings. I don't know if they're really going to be worth anything. Um, some dark lands oak. The trumpet. You know what? This trumpet's going on display. Yes, you are going on display. And I'll just throw you out. I don't need you anymore. I was so sad I died again, man. I've been trying so hard to stay alive and be good. Be a good Minecraft player. Um, and we'll put the trumpet up on display. Because just why not, right? Uh, inventory looks pretty clean. How is my nutrition doing? Ah, jeez. I know I've been eating a lot of meat lately. Um, definitely got to get fruits, vegetables, and grains up. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just died. That's why. So they're all bottomed back out again. All right. Uh, you still working over here? Nope. So you did everything? So we've got our gem. Did you go in? Oh, no, that's why. Okay. Are you all in there? Nine of them. Cool. Do your thing. There we go. I'll put the little ones back in here for right now. And then we'll have the big gem. And then we'll... Oh, gosh. I'm so excited. Because now we can get this hopper done, right? 
Um, this one was I needed that gem. A shark tooth we've got. Oh, the charcoal dust. Oh, but we've got the millstone now, and I can make charcoal. Um, I forget how I made charcoal. Compressing. No, grinding. Grinding low grade charcoal. Okay, cool. So we've got that. So give me my pretty gem here. Got you. And so that one's complete. And so let's go. Let's go make our hopper. And I've got to go make some low grade charcoal real quick, but I've got plenty of wood to do that with. And then that can, okay, we're, we're heading in the right direction. I've got the millstone now, so we're doing good things there. Um, this isn't low grade charcoal, is it? No, that's a charcoal block. Does this break down? What are the uses for this? Uh, fuel and a charcoal. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> that works. Put you in there. I was playing with this earlier and I noticed it doesn't use nearly the uh, saturation that it does on Lost Souls, so I'm not too upset about it. I can I can get on board with this one. It's not too bad at all. I mean, it still uses some, but not like a ton. <laughs> all right, so um, the hopper, I believe I put in here. Yes. And the tooth and the wood. Okay, there's two of those. And I've got a shark's tooth around here somewhere. I've killed so many sharks. I have to have shark's tooth like in one of these chests somewhere. Shark's tooth, right there. There we go. And the hopper, the gem, the, oh, got it. Oh no, wait, we gotta go grind those up. That's how I made the charcoal, right? With uh, charcoal and, oh, we can do the charcoal in the millstone. Okay, that's easy peasy. So let's put two of these bad boys in here, like so and get that grinding away. <clears throat> and then we will, I think porcelain clay I should be able to do. Clay I have, um, both bone meal, well bone meal I have, quartz I don't, but obviously I'm not gonna have quartz anytime soon. Um, so we'll have to look up the recipe for porcelain clay, but it looks like it wants me to make some of the, uh, the Tinker's add-on stuff. And if that gets it to age two, that's gonna make me so happy. So very, okay, there, we got our two, cool. Let's go craft this up. I'm actually excited because this is going to bring my food out of that hole and I can, that hole, and I can stop uh, keeping it down there and I can do the kiln and stuff like that up here. Um, so you two, you, let's see if I can do this all in one shot. You and you, the hopper goes there. Uh, no, no, no. The hopper goes here. The shark tooth goes there. And that was everything. I think that was everything. Let's see if I remember this. I looked at the recipe like three times, so I, I gotta be able to remember it. It is, sweet. All right, cool. So now let's go and grab, well, let's see, let's grab our grill first. So I'm actually using it a little bit more often than I am the other. Um, let's go ahead and put these fires out so I don't lose these items. There we go. And we'll obviously set this up with a chest somewhere, but basically you can just do this. Yeah, and then it actually provides heat itself. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So if I, well, where do I want to put this? Do I just want to put it like above a chest, like right here? Let's do it like that, yeah. So we'll punch out this block real quick. Um, do I have any wood over here? Oh, you know what? I can probably use the cedar wood, which I'm okay with doing right now. Um, there's two of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those. And then the stones are right here. And let's do this. You, you, and you. I don't know if I can use the cedar wood for a chest. I would think so. It's just, an, it's just another plank. It's just a different tree that I had to get eventually, but it's just still just another plank. Cool. Got you. All right. And so we'll plop you like that and put you right there and put you right there. And what's something I can cook up? Let's cook up some, whatever meat this is, raw beef. And this will be so amazing. This will be so amazing if I can just like have my food right in there. Because if that's the case, I might, 
Well, I'll, I'll relocate it a little bit. Are you going to cook? Are you actually going to cook? Or is this going to take like super, super long? Um, yeah, because I can put this underground. Oh. Oh, yeah, there they are. Ha, there they are. Awesome. Okay, cool. So what I might end up doing is just kind of moving this around a little bit. So I like this. Don't get me wrong. I like this. But I don't quite like that setup right there. Um, so, oh, you know what? I can just do this. There we go. And then I can take you and put you right here like that. And then put the grill back on top like so. This is obviously going to move, but for the time being, it just, it works for me. And then all my food will constantly be cooked. And I can put another hopper leading into this. Yeah, there it goes. And now there's four in there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so, oh, I see. So here's where we're finishing up. And I found out the gray ones, the ones that are purple and now gray, that's how we get to the next age. So let's see. You don't have liquid fuel, so let's try solid ones. Craft a heater to get started. Okay, so let's look up the recipe for the heater. Heater. Porcelain clay, a stone grill, that's easy, and some clay barrels. Uh, barrel extension can be placed above, yeah, but how do I make it? Um, unfire clay, okay, so I need six clay. I need, oh, there's it's just two extensions, okay. Those are both extensions, yeah. So I need 12 clay. And then porcelain clay is unfired. And the millstone is going to be flint, clay, and bone meal. Well, fortunately, I got a ton of bone meal now, which is awesome. There's plenty of clay. Um, I don't have a ton of flint, but I can... Oh, yeah, I can make them with that, right? And then bone meal. And one of these days, I will not just right-click and I'll actually do it right. Okay, so how many total am I going to need? I'm going to need six porcelain clay. So I'm going to need... Oh, perfect. Six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. You, you, and you. And now we'll get some unfired porcelain clay. Oh, I feel so progressed right now. Like, so progressed. Now, the, the millstone does take a while, so I do want to get, you know, some way to power this. And I'm figuring probably in the next stage, there'll be some way to power it, either with the um, the windmill um, that I still have yet to even get in uh, uh, Lost Souls. Or, see, I, I love that I'm actually using this mod in both, although it's brand new to me in that sense. So, it's, it's kind of, like, cool in that sense. I like it. Um... I get to use it in one place and another, and I notice that there's going to be a little bit of differences, like the fact that um, I just realized I can't, um, or I don't use as much hunger with this guy, so. I mean, it still uses a decent amount of hunger, but not a ton, and I can deal with that. All right, one more. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it is. Oh, it was already done. Okay. And I'm going to go move the kiln up here and swap this out now that the food's done for right now. Because I'm going to need that grill, aren't I? Isn't that something that it said I needed? Yeah, I'm going to need the grill. So we'll just use this grill for right now as we get this done. And... Did I... Oh, I got to make another kiln. Okay. Uh, recipe for the kiln was just clay, wasn't it? Um, clay and like a slab, I think. Um, I didn't expect to just get a clay brick back. Uh, cobblestone, slab, and clay. I've got enough clay. I just need a couple more pieces of cobblestone, which I think I have some in here. Uh, one, two. All right. Let's go sleep it off. I hear something. Oh, it's a rat. Get away, rat. What in the world? Hold on, can I pick you up? That would be funny. I know you can pick up the smaller animals, like the chickens like we did. That'd be funny if I could pick up the rat. You're just annoying though. All right. So we'll sleep this off and, oh, good grief. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I'm obviously gonna wanna make another one of these hoppers for the grill as well. But for right now, shh, the fact that 
it's just not going to happen. I'm okay with like the fact that I can only do one at a time. Obviously, I'm not going to move the kiln again. I just learned that lesson. So, okay, there we go. And no, you stay here. You go. So it was six clay blocks. And I oh know it was seven clay. And there's the kiln. And then put you right here. Fire you up. Hopefully that fires you up. I would think it works the same way, right? Yeah, okay, cool. And then we'll start making those guys up and you'll auto populate into there. And then maybe I'll just make another hopper while I'm standing here. And so I can just put stuff right into the top of it. I think that sounds like a reasonable thing to do. So there's you. I need to, I, I keep saying it, but I really, really need to get rid of those. Uh, it says it's there and there at the same time. How's that even possible? I don't know. Visual glitch? Who knows? Um, so yeah, so let's make up another hopper real quick and just put this on top for right now. And my stones or rocks, whatever they are. There we go. And, oh, no, I need the rest of that wood. I always forget. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And you in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And hopper there. Now, if I remember correctly, you know what? I can make this in the Mark II really quickly. Um, where's my knife at? Right here. I just need four of these. Um, we'll do it right over here. Thank you for the shift right click. I do know that now. Eight, perfect. And I can go turn that into the next level hopper so I can actually use the buffer instead of just setting stuff up on top. I'm learning, I'm learning. So it was you in the middle. If I hope I remember this correctly. You, 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 and you. It was just like that, right? Nope. Okay, let's look at that again. Oh, it was five of them and a spider web. Spider webs were easy to make. Can I, oh, can I get my items back, please? Spider webs were string and sticks. Like so. And if I remember correctly, it was four in the corners and five string. Like that, right? Yes, cool. And you go there, you go there, and five of these like another hopper. Kind of makes sense, like stick them in the hopper. Cool. And then the texture changes, which is cool. And then I can just go like this. And do you have a GUI? You don't have a GUI, but, but, I guess I can just crawl up the edge here. It's like got a buffer for four items. Oh my goodness, come on. Yeah, see, there it goes. And it's, it says it's in there. Okay, cool. So how many got there? I got two there, one in there, three up there. Okay, cool. So that's all six of them. Whew, okay, heater. Heater is those six, the grill, and then two clay barrels. How do you fire these? Uh, barrels should be placed above barrels. Capacity. Um, <clears throat> oh, in the kiln. Okay. And that is what? Six more clay? I see. I got to go get some more clay. Was there a recipe for clay or did I actually find it? I think I found it. Um, grinder, clay blocks. Yeah. So we got to go find some more clay. There are so many riverbeds. Let's go venture out and find some clay. We're almost done. And, oh, I'm so excited. See, I can't, is that, no. What is that? That is sand? What broke? What just broke? I wasn't using a tool. What broke? I think that's clay. Something just exploded again. I hate when I hear explosions. Oh, uh, swamps have a lot of clay, don't they? If I remember correctly, swamps have a lot of clay. 
that's a lot of salt. Salt. Clay. This is clay right here, right? Yeah, it's got to be clay. Okay, let's get rid of this piranha. And the, these piranhas. Okay, there we go. Plenty of clay. Awesome. I was glad this was close by. That should be more than enough. That's 38. Yeah. Not spending a lot of time. I know I can come back and get more because there's more right there. There's more right there. Okay, cool. So we have plenty of clay at our disposal pretty close by. Ooh, let's go make these clay barrels. This is... Oh, I'm so excited. I kind of want to look at the recipe of the next one because I did notice that also... Um, that guy opened up and I'm figuring that's just gonna be more clay with some glass but then again recipes are always changing so who knows who knows but I'm so excited of getting out of age zero and into age one and a little more progress I mean I'll be kind of sad to no no I really won't I was gonna say I'll be kind of sad to not be like you know kind of struggling to get by but then again I'm always struggling to get by and that's nothing I'm ever sad about so um yeah so here we go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can put those both in there. Um, one, two. There you go. You're in, ready to go. There you go. You're all fired up. There's the six of those. Let me grab that too. So much stuff in my inventory. Let me clear some of this stuff out. My junk drawer is getting very full. Um, the wood, uh, shark teeth, I have a place for the brick, I don't. Uh, raw rat meat, <clears throat> charcoal, I don't have a place for yet. Slabs, that, I don't need you. Okay, cool. And the rest of these have places, so. Clay goes there. This fish, on the other hand, goes in here. I don't know why I've decided the fish go in there because I'm actually opening spots for food in here, but that's my decision. Fish go there. That is that is where they go. String there. The grill I've got. Okay, and you both should be done. There we go. Cool. Let's craft this bad boy up. So barrel, barrel, grill. Grill super cheap and easy. I can make it again. And my six bricks. And... <laughs> Well, that scares me every single time without fail. Okay, cool. So where are we gonna put this for right now? For right now, we'll put you right here because then I think we're gonna put the tank on top and then your basement right there, yeah. So, what's the next one? The next one is to make a melter. I don't have iron, any metals yet, but we're gonna be ready to melt them when we get them. Um, so it's gonna be six more of those, another grill, the flame grill hopper and a primal chest advanced. This one wasn't too bad. Oh, that was the one that just got the four around it. I've got the wood for that, so I can do that super easy. Um, the hopper, I'll just steal it. I guess we'll make another one, but I want to get this progression done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all this stuff put together, and then I'm going to come back when we're ready to craft. So we will be back in just a second. All right, guys, so we got almost everything done. It's just one item I think I have left, which is the the flame grilled whopper. I just realized it's called a whopper, not a hopper. Um, can I get you from here? I can. Can I pick you up though? I cannot. Oh, my axe broke. I just realized that. Okay. Oh, we're, 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 so, we're so close. We're so close. And here we go. Oh yeah. Now we've got the melter. Oh, hey. Well, hello, age one. I was not expecting that grand fanfare. That was kind of cool. All right, cool. So that means we have completed everything except for this little quest right here, uh, which I'm not really thinking taking on bosses right now is a good idea because I almost got killed by a horde of dogs. So that's probably not the best way to go. But let's kind of look at what we have to look forward to tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, but the next couple days. Uh, welcome to the next age. Blocks previously hidden will now become visible, such as ore samples and others. Okay. <gasps> Upgrade your crafting. A regular crafting table. Oh, 
oh, I have to do this right now. This this has to happen. I'm overly excited about this. A regular crafting table. Oh, as much as much as I did enjoy this guy. Yeah, buddy, it's time for you to go. <clears throat> it is time for you to get replaced. Um, you know what? We're going to put you in the ground. Just so we can kind of build around and stuff. There we go. Oh, a crafting table. Oh, no more crafting rocks. Um, we're going to we're gonna put you right over here as retired. Yeah. And we're going to put you over here as retired. We're not going to forget you guys. So trust me, you're going to you're going to come back into play sometime. Um, you know, I'm sitting there making other hoppers. I've got one right here. I'm just going to retire all this age zero stuff real quick. Just as kind of a tribute to the end of an era. The end of an era. Um, can I make chest yet? <laughs> that... <gasps> oh. oh. Just dark oak planks? Just dark oak planks? Hold on, hold on. Spruce planks. Okay, hold on. Let's let's make a chest real quick. Let's 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 make a chest. Oh, oh, that feels so good. That feels so good to make a chest. Uh, I need this. Guitar. Oh, yeah, that makes me feel so good. I'm going to put you guys right here. You're my, my, my first chest. Um, you know what? I'll use the Dark Lance Planks because I don't really care. I just want a double wide chest. <laughs> oh, but I'm going to keep you organized, though. I'm not going to get crazy unorganized. I'm going to keep you organized. And I'm going to have to replace all that with wood because that just looks ugly. Well, we'll figure something out. But... Oh my goodness, we have made it to age one. We are done with age zero. That feels so good. Just feels ever so good. And we've got a lot of stuff that looks like to, to, to take a look at. Um, a clay barrel could hold fluids. Cool. Um, so I can start harvesting, you know, so I don't have to make it with bone meal anymore. Nice. Aqueducts. Uh, moving water. Okay. Oh, interesting. A stirring pot. So much to look into. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so very excited. What is this? Craft a weak drowsing rod to help you locate or interested. Well, as I I can't say enough how effective or efficient this episode. Oh, wow. Getting a lot of feathers and eggs over here. Uh, I feel like this was just a very accomplished episode. We 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 accomplished everything we wanted to do for age zero, and we've entered age one, and now the awesomeness will just continue. It's just going to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right now and say until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm out of here. Peace.